Hello and welcome to the Friday, February 9th, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. This is also the 15th anniversary of this podcast. As I've said before, if you have any tips how to make this podcast better, what you like, what you don't like about it, uh, please let me know. That's really sort of how you can pay back a little bit uh, for the work that goes into making this podcast to make sure it's the best podcast that I could possibly do given the overall format of a short form podcast like this. Xavier today came across another interesting, and with interesting, we usually mean malicious uh, Python script. Uh, This, again, is a Python script with GUI, which always is somewhat suspicious. It's attempting to be an MP3 player, at least that's what it says it does, and it apparently also works somewhat as an MP3 player, but in addition to being an MP3 player, it'll also log keystrokes. Xavier does have a little video with a walkthrough of the analysis of this particular script to show how it works, and well, VirusTotal, Again, low score here, only two out of 61 antivirus engines are detecting this specific Python script as malicious. Now you may say, why would anybody ever install a Python MP3 player? Like, particularly if you look at the screenshots here, it doesn't really look like much. One thing I'm a little bit worried about is that some of these applications may be used sort of as sample applications by developers to basically learn how to do certain things like playing audio files or such in Python. So we may again have some targeting of developers with these type of Python scripts. And LastPass today warned its customers that a fraudulent copy of its LastPass application has made it into the Apple App Store. This application appears to be a password manager and LastPass does not state that uh, this password manager does something improper like exfiltrating your password. Of course, that's still possible. The application now has been removed uh, from the App Lab Store. It could just be sort of more or less a copyright violation in trying to impersonate LastPass with a somewhat uh, legitimate uh, password manager. Still never a good idea to install any applications like this that try to impersonate a valid application. Future updates, of course, could always then turn this application malicious, even if it's initially not malicious. And well, it's uh, Thursday now when I record this or Friday when you listen to this. So, well, yet another day, yet another Ivanti vulnerability. This time it's an external XML entity vulnerability that is being patched in Avanti. Now, good part here is if you did release, if you did apply the patch released on January 31st or February 1st, then you should already be protected against this vulnerability, CVE 2024-22024. It is getting kind of tricky to track all the Avanti vulnerabilities and related uh, mitigation uh, configurations that Avanti released and patches. Uh, So I would recommend at least once a week, let's say Thursday, if you are using Avanti Connect Secure, Double check that you're running the latest version and the latest configuration. Also, again, remember if you applied mitigations via a configuration like an XML update from Ivanti, this will typically not persist you pushing other configurations later. And Fortinet doesn't really want to give Ivanti all the press, so Fortinet did release a patch for 40 OS fixing an out-of-band write in SSL VPN D. This apparently may already be exploited in the wild, and it does allow unauthenticated code execution 
over the network. In order to protect yourself, you must disable the SL VPN. And they're specifically saying the disabling web mode is not sufficient, even though the exploit actually well is initiated by a crafted HTTP request. The latest version of 40 OS 7.6 does not appear to be affected. Updates are available for earlier versions of 40 OS back to 6.2. Only 6.0 did not receive an update and the mitigation here is to migrate to a more recent release. Well, that is it for today. So thanks for listening. Thanks to some of you who may have been listening for all 15 years. And again, let me know how to sort of move this podcast to the next level, how to make it better. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.